the Lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew glory, glory to you O Lord Jacob the father of Joseph the husband of Mary of whom Jesus was born who is called Christ now the birth of Jesus Christ took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. And her husband Joseph, being a just man, and unwilling to put her to shame, resolved to send her away quietly. But as he considered these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not fear to take Mary as your wife, for that which is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. For he will save his people from their sins. When Joseph woke up from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, the last sentence of the gospel today is very pertinent and that reveals the spirituality of Saint Joseph. How and why this great saint was chosen by God the Father to be part of the mystery of salvation. And the last sentence is this. When Joseph woke from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him. In the Bible, Joseph does not say a word. He always did. He obeyed, waiting upon God for the message of God. And whenever the message was revealed without delay, without questioning, without arguing, he obeyed immediately. He wanted, he longed to marry Mary, a virgin girl from Nazareth. He loved her. But the circumstances were such he could not marry Mary because she was found with child. Naturally, Joseph did not understand why. He did not judge. He took it as God's will. He decided not to marry. When he decided not to marry, God asked him to marry her. And Joseph obeyed. He went ahead and married a pregnant woman, Mary. Even when Joseph married Mary, the rightful privileges of a husband were denied to him. 
he was to live with Mary as Mary was to remain a virgin all her lifetime. And Joseph obeyed. No questioning. He sets aside all his plans, all his natural desires, always the will of God. He obeyed. And he prepared for the delivery of Mary in Nazareth in his little house. That was the prestige. A prestige of every husband to prepare the most comfortable place for the delivery of the wife. Joseph did it and that's when the situation came. They could not remain in that house. The edict of Augustus Caesar to go to Bethlehem because of the census the Caesar decided to take and without questioning Joseph obeyed. Joseph knew that the infant of Mary was the son of God and everything happening was according to God's plan. So naturally Joseph had thought God would arrange a comfortable place in Bethlehem for his wife to give birth to her son. Joseph knocked door after door of every inn. Every door was closed against him. All that was available was a cow shed. Joseph had the misfortune. Let not that misfortune happen to any husband, the misfortune to tell his wife, all that is available is a cow shed. That's where you have to give birth to the child. Joseph obeyed. And after the childbirth, the message came, take the baby and the mother and run, flee to Egypt. No questioning. If this is the son of God, the savior of the humankind, then why the flight? He did not question, he obeyed. Every father had the right to give to the firstborn, his name. And therefore, naturally, the name of Jesus should have been Joseph. But that was denied to Joseph. The name was given already before the birth of Jesus. His name shall be Jesus. Joseph obeyed. Joseph waiting for God's message, never rebelling whatever it might cost, always willing to obey. And so, God could use him as a supple instrument in his hand for the mysterious plan God had for his son to be born of the virgin for the salvation of the humankind. And you and I, we can have our way. We have our free will. We can choose. We can decide. We can plan. We can execute our plans. We have our freedom. And yet, if I want my way, 
God will have no place in my life. God's plan will have no relevance for me. I will do all that I want. I will die a natural death and I will decay as a tree or an animal decays. I will not be relevant for God. I will become relevant for God only when I'm ready to wait upon God to know God's will however sacrificial that might be whatever it might cost Joseph the great man God the father could trust Wherever the gospel is preached, Joseph's name is glorified. A life lived for a few years on this earth is now glorified. As a man, God the Father trusted. And everything Joseph said, everything Joseph did became the word of God. Remember, Jesus said, What father among you, if the son would ask for fish, would give him a serpent instead? If the son would ask for bread, would give him a stone instead? Wicked that you are, you know how to give good gifts to your children. How much more your heavenly father. How did Jesus know? How did Jesus know? A father would not give a stone, a serpent to a son. By the tender love of Joseph. What was the name Jesus called Joseph? As a child, as an adolescent, as a young man. The name Jesus called Joseph was Abba. A name the Jewish children used to call their fathers. The name Jesus called the Heavenly Father, Abba. Same name, same word, same relationship. When Jesus called Joseph Abba, the faces of Joseph and of the Heavenly Father merging with each other. The Heavenly Father's love and trust. Jesus could experience in Joseph. And Jesus' experience, the words Joseph said, the things Joseph did to Jesus all became the word of God. What greater privilege could a man get than this? A privilege you and I will get if we are ready to obey. We are ready to wait, patiently wait for God's time, God's way, God's will. With the insistence I will never make a decision before waiting and praying to understand God's will. Everything happening to me, I will understand in prayer. Waiting upon God to discern God's will. God becoming the center of my life. I live, as St. Paul said, not I. But Jesus, my God lives in me. My life offered to God to do God's will on this earth. That's what Joseph did. Joseph's life became glorified in heaven. Our lives will become glorified when, like Joseph, you and I shall be ready to wait to do God's will all the time.
Amen.